Okay, it's uh, Saturday, January 26th. We're here at Bethany Lakes. Got the Echo Ion 6.7 weight with the uh, OPST Commando Skagit head that we put on on that 6 weight TFO fly rod. And the near deer, we got that airflow extra fast sinking tip. And we're going to see how this one casts. It's just checking things out here in the, uh, the canal. This is the one that connects the uh, main pond to the lower pond <clears throat> right here. Just kind of peek in there, just dump the fly in there and just see if anything can come up and look at it. All right, we're uh, checking out the waterfall and definitely can see all the way to the bottom. Don't see any fish and it's kind of chilly. Pretty clear water. So I'm just going to see how this uh, Skagit head feels. Feels really nice. Get some really good casts and uh, don't have to deal with the uh, monofilament line this time, so let's we'll see how that turns out. All right. Feels really good. All right, uh, check out the main pond. Water looks really clear again. Let's see if we can get something to bite. Let's see how it casts. That's nice. All right, uh, a little deep part. Still pretty clear here. Don't see any activity, but you never know. So let's see if we can drag a fly over here in this deep part and see what happens. I'm just kind of dropping it, letting it sink, and then just slowly bringing it across, hopefully keeping it out of the weeds. All right, here's a good spot to uh, test out how good this thing casts or not. Oh yeah, very nice. That went all the way. <laughs> Bad. Right, again. Okay, let's just lay the line out here. Let me get some more out. Get to the shooting head. Do a little quick peri poke. All right. Well, that went. All right. That's good. Like that. Just uh, checking out the back pond. Come up over here to this little canal thing or drainage. Okay, we'll see what uh, maybe lurking here. Water's really clear. Some pockets here, or there, and some holes, but it's pretty shallow. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, I see a bass. I see three, four bass actually. Kind of lurking on the other side of this hole. Let's see if we can get a cast in without spooking them. Well, got one looking at it, two looking at it. Look at that. School's still there. do when they don't want to bite. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go try by the mouth of the feeder creek. See if there's anything lurking here. Let's see. I see some little guys. Small bass. Huh. Little guys in the shallows. Maybe they're hungry like, uh, not like their buddies over there at the other place. See if we can get one to come look at it. All right, uh, might as well go up the feeder creek a little and see what's over here. Pretty shallow, but there's a little hole right up here that uh, sometimes holds fish. Uh, it looks like uh, slim pickings. Doesn't look like uh, there's anything in there. Okay, so how do we tackle this one? We tried a little pink near deer. A little school of them just over here on the other side. We're hanging out by this other deal, but maybe we'll get them to hit. We're gonna do a little grass cast, so we'll just leave the line behind us and just toss it forward. Let it land. It's gonna sink really slowly. And 
They don't want it. No takers. Bummer. Just swimming away. Great. Oh well. Let's see if we can get a view over me here. It's still over there. Huh. About, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so twenty. Twenty bass. None want to fly. We uh, tried a pink near deer. We tried a mop fly. Now we're going to try a San Juan worm ball here. And maybe they'll hit. We'll see. Okay, well, uh, this is the Piedmont. Plain or purple marabou. Uh, I don't remember what the OT stands for. But the T means thing. So, uh, oh, purple marabou orange thing. Has got the orange head, and this one sinks slowly. It tends to ride up, so we'll see if we can get one to hit on this. Gotta let it get wet a little bit. It's starting to sink. One's looking at it. Yeah, one's looking at it. All right. All right, Joe. Here's one that we uh, got for Lower Illinois River striped bass. And, well, it's kind of big for this pond, but <clears throat> we had uh, one of them look at the uh, Piedmont. So let's see if we can get one to look at this one. All right. Let's see what this guy does. Sinking really slow. It's too looked at it though. Okay, this one is sort of like a clouser. But it's got a little foamy thing on there. And it's going to ride up like this. And we're using that sinking tip. So we're hoping that we'll sink it. And maybe kind of ride it mid-level. Because they seem to be wanting to stay mid-level. So we'll see. Oh yeah. It's sinking good. That'll work. So we can work it down. Just get one to take. Dang it. Nibbled it. Nibbled it. He barely nibbled it though. Come on, come on, take it. Okay, well, they were looking at that one. And now, but uh, actually even nipped at it. Uh, unfortunately, Maybe they're just too big. So we're going to try this. Uh, oh, I think it's the K-Dub Minnow. I can't remember now. We made it up. It's pretty, kind of floats like this and kind of wiggles a little. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, they want it slow. And if you get something that'll float mid-depth, they'll take, they'll take a look at it. And so I'm trying to get this dry fly to sink. Yeah. I had like, I had like three of them pop at it but, but yeah I, I've got a sink tip right now is what I have but a purple you had like a purple kind of Senko or something that can wiggle that'll probably work or a green one and it's like Yeah, this, it's pretty shallow, and then, and then every once in a while you'll see one turn and chase it. Yeah. But it's it's slow. Go ahead, try. You got a? What do you have? Uh, she's got this, uh, oh yeah, yeah, that'll work. There's, there's two looking at it. Yeah, 
All right, you too. <clears throat> All right, now they want to go back into their hole. So they're going to go into the drainage ditch now, the whole school of them. You can see them. There they go. All right, well, maybe we'll get them to come back out here in a little bit. Okay, so we tried all kinds of stuff. So now we're going to try this Guadalupana and see what happens. Hopefully it slowly sinks also. Okay, so let's try this one here and see what happens. Well, we're happy with the uh, setup. We're gonna probably use this one for uh, most of the year. Unfortunately, haven't been able to catch any fish with it. Uh, at least this round. Did uh, get some frustration with the bass hanging out in that one drainage ditch, but just gonna go play around now and do some quick cast. All right, uh, we struck out uh, earlier, but we came back, and this time we tied a variant of the of the uh, Piedmont. And we'll see how this one turns out. This one's not weighted, and we're using that extra fast super uh, sinking line or uh, leader. So we'll see how it goes. All right, looks like the uh, bass are back in force, and hopefully we don't scare them. All right, well. Got an idea of what these guys are. They're bass, and this one swiped and then turned, and the foul hooking them. But hey, got an idea what these guys are now. All right, nice looking bass. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. All right, about uh, 12, 13 inch size bass. Whole school of them here. Busted my line. Sweet. Oh well. Bass is over here. Huh. I think we just grab them. Oh, that bass is just right here. I don't get it, but let's grab them. Uh, all right. Look at this guy. Go move them. Maybe over there where there's more water. Blue. You don't look too good. Maybe he needs to go where it's warmer. It's very cold. Over here where there's a lot more water flow. All right, yeah. There we go. That looks better. Just sitting there. All right, cool. 